Hey guys, welcome to another one of Ice's videos, and we're back again. Unfortunately, my niece is not joining me. Ooh, that is pulsating. That is bad. And now we're... Fuck me! Oh my god. Oh fuck, alright. Run! Ow! Stop being an asshole. Holy shit! That did scare the living shit out of me right there. I was in the middle of talking, water monster. You couldn't wait till I was done? Damn. Then again, it kind of made sense. I was in the water. I was expecting something, I guess. Shit. Am I out of the refinery? No. Oh, look at that. Wait. The castle's fixed? Look at this pretty little fountain. Made of spines and an angel baby face with the legs coming out of it. Let's take a bath. Mmm, yes. Oh, okay, let's get out of here. So the castle of Brennenburg is now fixed. Or is this like a whole different wing, or... It will definitely take care of the vertical part of our journey. So, you have ridden an elevator before? Yes, the Colosseum at Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Oh damn, I was all pumped and shit to start riding an elevator that takes us in the wrong direction. Is that Willy Wonka's elevator? Find a way to start the engine and empowers the elevators. Okay. Oh, that's some creepy ass noises. That's my sanity. Crystal clear. And I'm bleeding quite badly. This is bullshit. Machine room's locked. Go figures. Alright, so now I need to find a way to get into that room so I can start up the elevator. Nice music! I could vibe to this. What's down here? I'm also liking how this part of the, the castle is herpes free. I'm liking that. Where do I go? Here, I'm gonna look and see all the rooms we have here. Guest room. Study. Now, I've had some pretty bad experiences in archive study thi things before. So I'm gonna go into the guest room? I hope that's a good idea. Brushed his face and stepped outside. London weather cannot handle or could be cruel or this kind of cruelty he could not handle. Yes, yes, it is quite sad of a young tale of a young boy. It is quite sad, I know. This is my room. 
Okay, it's nice and light outside. Crowbar. No, oh, Gordon Freeman up in this bitch. I know. Okay. Second of July, eighteen thirty-nine. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. Oh! About a week after my I just smacked my balls. Oh! I don't care. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search. Of course, it's the French. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned, without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs. I thought he was a talent. Fuck. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. He's worried for him. He's like a good wife. That's how Daniel is. He's a good wife. Cool shirts, bro. Nope. Fireplace, which I'm not going to use a tinderbox on. Because this room is well lit. And I declare that no... Fuck you. I declare that no monster shall attack me while I am in the sunlight. Third of July. <laughs> then the wind starts picking up. Fuck. You tell me. Reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion. But suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. Cool story, bro. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the all, what are those pieces in my drawing room? I don't know, you tell me what those orb pieces are doing in your drawing room. Broken lock. Okay, let's find a way to... I got an idea. <laughs> Gordon Freeman in this bitch. Okay, so a key is in here. Fourth of July, eighteen thirty-nine. It's, it's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Right, this is a little too coinky dinky. Yeah. Oh, 
Where's the key? The shirt! Don't fuck me. They can smell your fear. Then put on deodorant. Thanks for breaking my door, dick. So is there still a key inside of here? An important key is hidden in the guest room. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. We got this shit. Okay guys, so till next time, I'm Vice. Thank you for watching and uh, we'll see what this amnesia takes off next.